This show is very dynamic, very interesting, very scary. What drew you to Ephraim Goodweather? What was so significant about him that just captured you? Uh, well, I think he's, he's really full of, uh, of contradictions. You know, he's um, you know, thoroughly competent at his job and thoroughly incompetent in his, in his marriage and half and half as a father. Um, and, you know, he's got a sense of humor, but he's got this giant sort of blind spot right in the center of his vision. Um, and and that's just sort of where we start. Um, uh, you know, Guillermo mentioned several times where we were shooting uh, uh, Orson Welles as a as a model for F, who um, was this golden child who was good at everything and was a genius and you know his first movie was the best movie ever made and then Magnificent Ambersons happened and then something happened and just everything went off the rails and he spent his entire life trying to get back to that um, and where we see F is sort of right in the middle of shooting Magnificent Ambersons basically uh, you know everything that was going so right He's suddenly going so wrong, and it's all falling apart at the same time. Uh, so that's that's a really exciting place to start as a character. Um, and what's exciting is the journey that the character's going to go on. Um, you know, because it's a limited series, because we know we're going towards a particular end. Um, I don't. The character doesn't have to be a solid rock that uh, that that doesn't change and, and, and uh, I can he can really change and grow and, and I think he will uh, well you know it, it's in the books it's an incredible arc and I you know I, I think that's going to be the general shape but I'm I, you know I'm sort of in the same place as anybody who's who's read the books uh, in terms of um, knowing how our show is, is going to go. Um, but I think the basic journey is from, is from knowledge to wisdom. You know, he starts off and he's got all the answers and he's, he, he has a, um, the utmost confidence in, in the scientific method and, 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 uh, and all the protocols that he has used to solve problems. Um, but this new challenge forces him to question everything. Um, and it, 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 he, he, it will be a constant process of, of stripping away uh, this, his, what he believed the world was, um, and, then, and then a building back up towards, towards something new. But I know that's incredibly vague, but... Uh, <laughs> And how are, you, how are you with horror? You know, there's a lot of uh, I'm very visceral wimp. horror on this. But. I'm a, such a such a wimp. Although I really think, you know, the, the horror in this show is is it's self conscious in a, in, a, in in the best possible way. I think that uh, you know you there there is a sort of a meta aspect to the the, the, the way. Um, the, the horror unfolds in here. You know something scary is going to happen, and then something scary happens. And it's so great to watch it with an audience because there's a lot of laughter. You know what I mean? It's a, the, 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 the scares happen, um, and, but they happen in, in a slightly, slightly off-center way that, uh, that's just a kind of absurd. Um, so I, I, I think there's a real chance that the show could uh, could appeal to a lot of people who, who don't necessarily like horror. Talking of scary things, how do you feel about the billboards around the country in Australia? <laughs> have any friends and family complained to you about them? Uh, uh, nobody's complained to me about them, um, uh, but I, I think they're great. I think, you know, the point of a billboard is to get your attention and to, uh, and to uh, get you to want to find out more about it. I think I think they did their job. Was there something that was there something that surprised you when you saw it come to life on screen? Yeah. The show? 
I don't know. I don't know about. I mean, it's hard to put my finger on it, but it was definitely. You know, when you're dealing, you know, the worms were little plastic green straws that we have. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of that world that is done in post, um, and there's a. It's a. There's a gestalt to this show that it's not. It's not, uh, it's not exactly what happens in the room with the other actors. There's the music and the color timing and, um, and, uh, and, and, and certainly with special effects scenes, there, there's that stuff. And uh, I think they really did a, a really masterful job of, uh, of crafting that. And um, it was, it's really helpful going forward to see the final product and to, and to understand in what good hands I'm in. I didn't. I read some books, um, but uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't go to the Central African Republic or anything. <laughs>